Screw it.
you'll notice I've had an outboard motor failure. My 9.8 horsepower Taihatsu has cut out on me when I was motoring along at full throttle. It was quite difficult to get started today and in fact the last day I had it out I had very similar problems with it. I had taken it to get looked at and they couldn't actually find a problem with it and I was told to go away, try it out again and if it did something funny try and capture it on the video. So I've managed to get this on the video today um, and I'm going to have to take it obviously back in to get looked at. But this is a really good advertisement of why you should have a second outboard motor in your boat. Um, my previous 6 horsepower Yamaha failed on me as well at one point um, and I made a separate video on the reason for that and how it could easily have been fixed out on the water if you knew what the problem was. And I was able to get it hauled into the boat without any problem, get the 2.5 horsepower on the back and um, I got myself back in that day without any difficulty. I was a bit worried could I actually haul this 9.8 horsepower motor into the boat but actually it was okay to get in today so um, I was happy enough with that. The other thing that worked really well obviously um, I keep this 2.5 horsepower outboard motor empty um, because I don't want to leave steel fuel in it when I rarely use the motor. So the jiggle siphon that I got worked very well. The only trick is you have to lift the pump up and then get the fuel to flow and I've never worked out how to stop it very well but it's done the job and filled the tank up for me today. So I'm about three miles offshore you can see South Rocks Lighthouse behind me. I'm going to do a little bit of fishing see maybe only for maybe about an hour today because it's going to be a long trip back in it's going to take me at least half an hour to get in and the weather is not quite as nice as it was when I was coming out. It was lovely and sunny. The sun has disappeared behind the clouds. But still, it's good for this time of year to get out and do a little bit of fishing. And it's good for me to make a fishing video because I've been too busy at the moment making lots of PC build videos. So going back to the original content of the channel is good. Still planning to get out over the winter. Um, if I get this motor fixed and get a good day, I'll definitely be out doing a bit of fishing and I'll try and capture it on the video.